Oh yeah, that's nice. Hello everyone, this is Jacob Williams. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, make sure to leave those in the comments and I will go ahead and make sure to get back with you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna go over is symbols. So let's go ahead and just create a hash real fast. Um, let's just make our hash name hash and then let's go ahead and put the curly brackets. And then let's just make up some names, uh, Jackson. And let's do these as strings. We're gonna call our keys. And then we're gonna put ages. Let's go ahead and make room here. Let's go ahead down below. And then let's make this a string like we did before and we're going to use hash rockets so we're going to do equals and go to then and we're going to have that equal to 17 and then we're going to put a comma and go below that all right and for the next one let's go ahead and do sarah another hash rocket and we're going to have her be 19 and then let's do johnson Hash rocket. And we're going to set him equal to 25. And below that, let's do Mike. And we're going to make him 75. Let's bring that up. All right, so if you've gone through the hash tutorials, then you know exactly what we've done here. We've set our keys here. These are the strings, and then we've set those keys equal to our age. Okay, and if you remember, if you want to output one of these items, we can go ahead and write puts, and then we write hash, and then we do our square brackets, and we will type in Jackson. Right there. Go ahead and save that as ages. And then pull that in. Go ahead and hit enter, and you can see that it's output the value of 17 for Jackson. All right, so that was just a quick overview of what we've already gone over. But let's say that we didn't want to use strings. Let's say instead we wanted to use symbols. Now symbols we haven't been introduced to yet, but what we can do, and this is actually on the older version, but symbols are typically written with a colon right before the name. And then we get rid of this right here. And then we could kill that as well. Okay, then after doing that, we come down here, we get rid of these quotes, and then we put our colon there, and we hit save. So we've now created these as symbols, and these are basically, they're, they're unchangeable, and they're no longer strings, and so they will stay this way. And let's pull that in to show you. enter and it results in 17 again okay so this is actually the this is the older way of doing it and you're gonna see this a lot in older programs so this is why I'm showing you that there's the, the hash rocket and everything but anything above 1.9 is actually written differently you put the colon after right here Let's just go down here put the colon after go and then we can actually get rid of the hash rockets we don't even need those all right so go ahead and get rid of the puts and now what we're going to do is we're going to use the dot select method and that's built in and what we want to do is we're going to do old enough underscore and we're going to set old enough equal to hash dot select Okay, and then after that, we're going to do our curly braces, we're going to do our pipes, and we're going to create our key and our value. And then come outside of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to target our value to be greater than 21. 
then we come below and we're going to write puts old underscore enough then you can save that file there and then start command prompt and pull ages in hit enter and you can see that it's returned Johnson and Mike because we've only selected for the value being greater than 21 okay so let's go ahead and close that right there so if we wanted to output just the key names and not the value of those names what we would do is we would use our dot each key method that's built into Ruby so what we would do is we would do hash or let's do names is equal to hash dot each underscore key and then we're gonna do our curly braces and our pipes we'll do K and then in here we'll do puts K and then we hit save start our command prompt and pull in our file go ahead and hit enter and it see you can see that we've output just the names all right and dot each value is the exact same thing so you will be targeting just the values same exact concept just the values alright today was a quick one but what I want to make certain is that this is how you want to write your keys you want to write your keys as symbols um, because they are immutable and they can't be changed that way and that's just a fancy word for yeah they, they cannot be changed and um, and then these are your values and then your hash dot each key built in and your hash or sorry your dot each key um, and then your dot each value method my name is Jacob Williams if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and then I will leave you with the rest of this beautiful song have a good night